Li Jiancheng, formerly Crown Prince Yin, nicknamed Pishaman, was a Crown Prince of the Chinese dynasty Tang Dynasty. He was the oldest son of the founding emperor Emperor Gauj and therefore was designated Crown Prince after the founding of the dynasty in 618. However, although he himself was fairly capable as a general, he was overshadowed by the contributions of his younger brother Li Shimin the Prince of Qin, and the brothers contended for power for years, with Li Jiancheng aided by another younger brother, Li Yuanji the Prince of Qi. In 626, Li Shimin, fearing that Li Jiancheng and Li Yuanji were about to kill him, laid an ambush for them at Shandwu Gate outside the palace and killed them. Li Shimin then effectively forced Emperor Gauge to yield the throne to him. Background Li Jiancheng was born in 589, during the reign of Emperor Wen of Suai. He was the oldest son of Li Yu and the Duke of Tang, a hereditary noble, and Li Yuan's wife, Duchess Dao, who was herself the daughter of Dao Yi, the Duke of Shen Wu and Northern Zhou's Princess Zhang Yang. Duchess Dao would subsequently give birth to three of Li Jiancheng's younger brothers, Li Shimin, Li Shanba, and Li Yuanji. She also gave birth to a sister of Li Jiancheng's, the eventual Princess Ping Yang. Although it was not clear whether she was older or younger than Li Jiancheng, at some point, Li Jiancheng received the title of heir apparent of Tang. In 616, with agrarian rebellions beginning to engulf northern China and frequent eastern Tudu incursions across the border, Emperor Yang of Suai commissioned Li Yuan to be the commander of the forces at Taiyuan, guarding it against both agrarian rebels and eastern Tudu. At that time, Li Yuan took Li Shimin with him to Taiyuan, but left Li Jiancheng, Li Yuanji, another son Li Jiyun and the rest of his household at Hedong. In 617, Li Yuan, fearful that Emperor Yang might punish him for his inability to suppress the rebels led by Lu Wazao the Dingyang Khan, was persuaded by Li Shimin to rebel against Su Ai rule. He then sent secret messengers to Hedong to summon his sons into the capital Chang'e to summon his daughter and son-in-law Chai Shao. Li Jiancheng and Li Yuanji secretly traveled to Tai Yuan, but left the 13-year-old Li Jiyun at Hedong. Participation in Tang's founding, even before Li Jiancheng, Li Yuanji, and Chai Shao arrived at Tai Yuan, Li Yuan rebelled declaring that he wanted to support Emperor Yang's grandson Yang Yu the Prince of Dai, then nominally in charge at Chang'e as emperor, while honoring Emperor Yang as Taishang Huang. In response, Suai officials arrested Li Jiyun, took him to Chang'e, and executed him. Li Yuan made both Li Jiancheng and Li Shimin key generals, and in nine days, they captured Xihe Commandery, impressing their father. Subsequently, Li Yuan divided his forces into six armies, having Li Jiancheng and Li Shimin command three each. He also created Li Jiancheng the Duke of Longxi and Li Shimin the Duke of Dunhuang. Subsequently, Li Yuan advanced toward Chang'e, but when he got near to Hedong, his army could not advance due to torrential rains. With rumors running rampant that Lu Wazao and Eastern Tuju were about to attack Tai Yuan, Li Yuan began ordering a retreat back to Tai Yuan. It was only at Li Jiancheng's and Li Shimin's urging that Li Yuan changed his mind and stayed, and Li Jiancheng and Li Shimin then captured the fortress of Hari, eventually convincing Li Yuan to bypass Hedong and directly advance toward Chang'e. After he crossed the Yellow River into Guangzhou, he sent Li Jiancheng with Lu Wenjing East to guard Tong Pass and Yongfeng storage and to stop any potential Suai reinforcements from the eastern capital Luo Yang. Once Li Yuan himself approached Chang'e, he summoned both Li Jiancheng and Li Shimin to Chang'e to join him in sieging Chang'e. In winter 617, Li Yuan captured Chang'e and declared Yang Yu emperor. He had himself created the Prince of Tang, become the regent over Emperor Gong. In spring 618, Li Yuan sent Li Jiancheng and Li Shimin toward Luoyang, which was then under attack by the rebel leader Li Mi the Duke of Wei. 
ostensibly to help Suai forces there. The Suai forces at Liaoyang rejected the overture, and Li Jianchang and Li Shimen subsequently returned to Chang'e. Later in spring 618, Emperor Yang, then at Jiangdu, was killed in a kill led by the general Yu Wen Waji. When the news arrived at Chang'e, Li Yuan had Emperor Gong yield the throne to him, establishing Tang Dynasty as its Emperor Gaoj. Emperor Gaoj created Li Jianchang crown prince. In 619, Emperor Gaoj sent Li Jiancheng to attack the agrarian leader Zhu Shanhai, the Duke of Hushang, and Li Jiancheng defeated Zhu. Later that year, when Li Jiuai, the Emperor of Liang, was captured in a coup by his official in Xingua, who then submitted to Tang, Emperor Gaoj sent Li Jiancheng to welcome him and to escort Li Jiuai to Chang'e, where Emperor Gaoj executed him. Meanwhile, Li Jiancheng was developing a reputation for leniency, but favoring drinking and hunting. Emperor Gaoj worried that he was not paying sufficient attention to the important matters of state. Had the key ministers Li Gang and Zheng Shang join Li Jiancheng's staff? In fall 620, believing in reports that Li Zhongwen, who was then in charge at Taiyuan, was collaborating with Eastern Tuju, was planning to rebel. Emperor Gaoj sent Li Jiancheng to Pufa and to guard against Li Zhongwen, while summoning Li Zhongwen back to the capital. Li Zhongwen complied and was subsequently executed. In spring 621, when the Zhongnu chieftain Lu Xiancheng harassed Tang's border territory, Emperor Gaoj sent Li Jiancheng to attack Lu. When Li Jiancheng subsequently captured a number of the Zhongnu, he initially released their leaders, leading them to surrender in large numbers and he then massacred him. Only Liu escaped and fled to Liang Shiju, the emperor of Liang. In 622, Li Jiancheng was one of the commanders that Emperor Gaoj sent, along with Li Shimen, Li Zihi, and Du in Dissao, to counter an eastern Tudu incursion. Rivalry with Li Shimen. Meanwhile, an intense rivalry had developed between Li Jiancheng and Li Shimen, who carried the title of Prince of Qin. As while Li Jiancheng had some contributions toward Tang's reunification of China, a number of the more major contenders, including Zhu Rengao, the Emperor of Qin, Wang Shichong, the Emperor of Zheng, and Dao Jada, the Prince of Chia were all defeated and or captured by Li Shimin, causing him to possess the greater reputation among the army. Li Yuanji, who was also often relied on by Emperor Gaoj as a general and had been created the Prince of Qi, supported Li Jiancheng in this rivalry and often pushed Li Jiancheng toward a more hardline position against Li Shimen, wanting to be crown prince when Li Jiancheng would become emperor. Li Jiancheng and Li Yuanji had better relations with Emperor Gaozhu's favored young concubines than Li Shimen did, and those concubines helped rehabilitate Li Jiancheng's standing before Emperor Gaoj causing him to no longer consider making Li Shimen crown prince instead, as he considered at one point. By winter 622, Liu Heita, the prince of Handong, previously a Chia general who rose against Tang after Emperor Gaoj had executed Dao Jada, posed the only remaining major threat against Tang rule even though he had been defeated by Li Shimen earlier in the year, at the suggestion of his staff members Wang Jiyuai and Wei Zheng, who argued that Li Jiancheng needed some victories himself to establish his reputation. Li Jiancheng volunteered to command the army against Lu Heita. Emperor Gaoj thus sent Li Jiancheng, assisted by Li Yuanji, around the new year 623, with Lu's force bogged down while attacking Tang's Wei prefecture, Li Jiancheng and Li Yuanji engaged him at Guantao. Crushing him, Lu fled north toward eastern Tuju, but was ambushed and captured by his own official Duke of Devi, who delivered him to Li Jiancheng. Li Jiancheng executed Lu. China was by this point almost completely unified by Tang. In 623, when eastern Tuju made another incursion into Tang territory, Emperor Gaoj again sent Li Jiancheng and Li Shimin to guard against the attack. 
Meanwhile, at one point, Li Yuanji tried to persuade Li Jiancheng to have Li Shimin assassinated when Li Shimin was visiting Li Yuanji's mansion. But Li Jiancheng, not having the heart to kill a brother, stopped Li Yuanji from doing so. In 624, Li Jiancheng requisitioned a number of soldiers from the general Li Yi, the Prince of Yan, to supplement his guard corps against Emperor Gaozhu's regulations. When this was revealed to Emperor Gaoz, Emperor Gaoz rebuked Li Jiancheng and exiled his guard commander Kidaji. When, subsequently, Li Jiancheng nevertheless requested the commandant at Qing Prefecture, Yang Wenigan, to conscript troops, presumably to guard against Li Shimin. The officers Erdu Wan and Qiao Gongshan informed Emperor Gaoz that Li Jiancheng was encouraging Yang to start a rebellion so that they could seize power together. Emperor Gaoz, then at Renji Palace, was incensed and summoned Li Jiancheng, then at Chang'e to Renji Palace. Li Jiancheng briefly flirted the idea of occupying Chang'e and not accepting the order but eventually reported to Renji Palace to request forgiveness. Emperor Gaoz put him under arrest. When Yang heard this, Yang rebelled, and Emperor Gaoz, after promising Li Shimin that he would be made crown prince, sent Li Shimin to attack Yang. Once Li Shimin left, however, Li Yuanji, Emperor Gaozhu's concubines, and the Chancellor Feng Dea, all spoke on Li Jiancheng's behalf. And Emperor Gaoz changed his mind, released Li Jiancheng, and allowed him to return to Chang'e and remain as crown prince. Instead, Emperor Gaoz only blamed the discord between his sons on Li Jiancheng's staff members Wang Jiyuai and Wei Ting, and Li Shimin's staff member Du Yan, exiling them. Yang was subsequently assassinated by his own subordinates. Later that year, Emperor Gaoz, troubled by repeated Eastern Tudu incursions, seriously considered burning Chang'e to the ground and moving the capital to Fan Cheng, a suggestion that Li Ji and Cheng, Li Yu and Ji, and the Chancellor Pei Ji agreed with. Li Shimin opposed, however, and the plan was not carried out. Meanwhile, Li Shimin himself was sending his confidants to Luao Yang to build up personal control of the army there. After an incident in which Li Shimin suffered a severe case of food poisoning after feasting at Li Jiancheng's palace, an event that both Emperor Gao and Li Shimin apparently interpreted as an assassination attempt, Emperor Gao considered sending Li Shimin to guard Luao Yang to prevent further conflict. But Li Jiancheng and Li Yuanji, after consulting each other, believed that this would only give Li Shimin an opportunity to build up his personal power there, and therefore opposed it. Emperor Gaoz therefore did not carry out the plan. Death By 626, Li Shimin was fearful that he would be killed by Li Jiancheng, and his staff members Fang Shanling, Du Ruhui and Zhang Sun Wuji were repeatedly encouraging Li Shimin to attack Li Jiancheng and Li Yuanji first, while Wei Zheng was encouraging Li Jiancheng to attack Li Shimin first. Li Jiancheng persuaded Emperor Gaoz to remove Fang and Du, as well as Li Shimin's trusted guard officers Yu Qi Jingda and Cheng Jiji, from Li Shimin's staff. Zhang Sun, who remained on Li Shimin's staff, continued to try to persuade Li Shimin to attack first. In summer 626, Eastern Tuju was making another attack, and under Li Jiancheng's suggestion, Emperor Gaoz, instead of sending Li Shimin to resist Eastern Tuju as he first was inclined, decided to send Li Yuanji instead. Li Yuanji was given command of much of the army previously under Li Shimin's control, further troubling Li Shimin who believed that with the army in Li Yuanji's hands, he would be unable to resist an attack. Li Shimin had Yu Qi summon Fang and Du back to his mansion secretly, and then on one night submitted an accusation to Emperor Gaoz that Li Jiancheng and Li Yuanji were committing adultery with Emperor Gaozhu's concubines.
Emperor Gaozhi, in response, issued summonses to Li Jiancheng and Li Yuanji for the next morning, convening the senior officials Pei Ji, Cao Yu, and Chen Shuda to examine Li Ximen's accusations. As Li Jiancheng and Li Yuanji approached the central gate leading to Emperor Gaozhu's palace, Shanwu Gate, Li Ximen carried out the ambush he had set. He personally fired an arrow that killed Li Jiancheng. Subsequently, Yu Chu killed Li Yuanji. Li Ximen's forces entered the palace and, under the intimidation of Li Ximen's forces, Emperor Gaozhu agreed to create Li Ximen crown prince and two months later passed the throne to him. Li Jiancheng's five sons were all executed as well. Li Jiancheng was initially posthumously reduced to commoner rank. After Emperor Taizong took the throne, he posthumously created Li Jiancheng the Prince of Xi and adopted his own son Li Fu into Li Jiancheng's line as Li Jiancheng's heir. He also buried Li Jiancheng with ceremonies due an imperial prince. In 642, he restored Li Jiancheng's crown prince title. However, for political considerations, he would never have Li Jiancheng fully rehabilitated, as the daughters of Li Jiancheng still remained the titles as daughters of a common prince, rather than a crown prince. Family Consort Consort Zheng Guanin, married 614. Sons Li Chengzong, Prince of Taiyuan. Li Chengdao, Prince of Anlu. Li Chengde, Prince of Hedong. Li Chengzun, Prince of Wuan. Li Chengming, Prince of Runan. Li Chengyi, Prince of Julu. Daughters Li Wan's Hun, courtesy name Wang Niang, the second daughter, granted the title of Princess of Wei Acute NXI in 638, married Liu Yingdao, Princess of Guide, the fifth daughter.